rap question mark by Tierra Rock. Just a three song drop. Um, but, but yeah, it's yeah. Tierra Rock is one of our favorite experimental rap artists. She's wild and crazy, and I absolutely love it. Yeah, um, Tierra Wack, perhaps more than any artist, and, and I mean like any artist, period, uh, does a lot with a short amount of time. And like her like first like yeah. landmark release, uh, Wack World, was that 15-minute album with 15 songs. Like each song was a minute, like little vignette of things. And it just sort of like blew people's minds because like it was catchy. People liked it. But again, like the songs were I mean, only a minute long. I think her and Jai Paul are the two artists that have like almost revolutionized the music industry with a tiny bit of music. Jai Paul may be like three songs and an album that's not even finished and that's it and like completely revolutionized the industry and TROX same thing because you don't get artists normally who will blow up with that um, short amount and I yeah it's it's I, I like her music but anyways going into rap Definitely the experimental side of it and stand up. I love it as an opening thing for it. It's I really like it. Yeah. It made me laugh, but I love the way it's very understated and undertoned with the subdued bass in the background and the drum. And it's really simple. But you have all of these tiny little sounds in the background. If you actually crank up the sound, you can hear it. You hear like a tiny bit of electronic um uh, like streams of the background little things here and there that are actually make the track a whole it's really cool to hear that so um i always respect this fine details and stuff when artists do that and i really like it her flow is fantastic it gets into it and it feels like this is what this is what kanye west would sound like in 2021 if he wasn't off the piss crazy like mm. to me this is almost like can sound like that experimentalness that you want, you know, and 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 rap and in modern music, but produced and made very well. Yeah, I think with millions, especially, you get that as well. It's weird because usually mm -hmm. we preview three tracks on an audio face review, and we've only got three tracks. So I guess for the sake of not doing the whole thing, I'll just talk about the two. Because um, then you have Megan Good in the middle, which is a good one. But the, the thing you said about Kanye, because like. When you're talking about old Kanye, like as much as we've shit talked him on audio face, like that's a very high bar you're clearing. Like, better be a gradu talk graduation is one of my favorite rap albums of all time. Like, and a lot of people would agree with you. Um, yeah, and so you, when you get something like Millions, where you're just kind of getting that sort of like crescendo like rap, where so much is happening together and harmonizing, um, you get it's almost like the harmonizing you get from like Porter <laughs> Porter Robinson tracks sometimes, but um, you know, together in like a rap song, that isn't like too overwhelming or crazy. Um, but it's really like older Porter Robinson, like EDM Porter Robinson, not like, um, Nurture, which was a different, also cool thing from this year. Um, but I do love like all the vocals that are hitting around in it. It's just really fun how it's constructed and yeah, doing so much with a little tear whack, just always eight mm -hmm. minutes, 39 seconds. Like there are some like <laughs> electronic music tracks that are just this long, just one song. It's just progressive house, just up and down. But, um. It really makes you look at other artists and you just sort of like turn to them and go, and? Mm, exactly. Exactly. Like, what can you do? Exactly. Like, well, you got this short amount of time, but can make this. And they're good. All three tracks are fantastic. Megan Good is a very good track, too. And just Tara Wack can do so much with so little, which is honestly a very difficult to do. Yeah. I'm still waiting for like, you know, like a album album from tiara whack because we've seen some songs pop up here and there um please <laughs> anytime now one day yeah um arbitrary scale sport manager stackings uh because we always do an audio face because who cares about ranking systems <sighs> this uh this is uh my backcock from the toronto maple leaves after 19 and 20 season because he was like verbally abusing players and stuff and was a pretty shitty coach and now he's an analyst on like one of the hockey networks in canada and it's hilarious seeing him i'm like you realize the entire player association and nhl players hate you i love it i'm gonna give this uh raiders coach john gruden <laughs> that's a good john gruden is a good one damn <laughs> again uh doing a lot with a little when it comes to your words <laughs> <laughs> a little 
little too on the nose for me, but that's good. That's, that's fantastic. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> that's super well, dude. It, it would not be audio face if we did not toe the line just a little bit. Um, <laughs> yep. 